Okay. So the first thing you need to do for this magic wallet is to take your piece of paper. I'm just using computer paper. Fold it in half so I'm lining up the two long sides. And then I'm going to crease it, open it up. We're just going to cut down that fold now. Okay, so now I have this piece. I'm going to take it and fold it in half, lining up the corners as best I can. I'm going to take this just this side, fold it back, lining up the edges and the corners as best I can. Crease that. So now what I have is this. Okay, I'm going to flip it over so the long piece is on top. Do the same thing I just did. Fold it back, crease it as best I can. So now I have either a W or an M. So as it's an M, I'm going to grab the center part and fold this back. So all I've done is it's just refolded just directly in half. Okay, and then I'm going to set this down. This is the fold. Okay, so I'm going to show you two ways to measure this. One if you have a ruler and one if you don't. So my ruler starts at zero. You want to make sure that it's if it starts at zero or zero is a little bit in. If it's a little bit in, I'm going to move it there, but mine is zero, so it's lined up even. I'm going to make a mark at one and a half inches here, and then three. Okay, it really doesn't matter as long as it's the same one down here. So I'm going to slide my ruler down. I'm, I'm saying above, where I'm going to mark above this fold here. Make sure it's even with the edge, and I'm going to make another mark at one and a half and three. I'm going to turn my ruler, line up these two marks, and draw a line. Line up these two marks, and draw a line. And I'm only drawing it back to that fold there. Okay, I'm going to show you another way. But if you don't have a ruler, what you can do so I've got this piece of scratch paper here. It only matters that the lines are straight. Okay, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna make my mark here, and I'm gonna make my mark here. I don't know how big those are, and that's okay. So I've made tiny little lines that you probably cannot see on camera. So what I'm gonna do on my little paper, this is my scratch paper, I'm gonna make those same marks again so that I can slide the paper down and transfer those down here. So see how I put my two marks there on the edge, that's the fold. And then I put them on here and then I just slid it down. So above this fold, I made the two marks again. So they're, exa they're the exact same spot. Now I'm gonna turn my paper sideways Line up these two marks and draw a line back to the fold. Same thing over here. So it doesn't actually matter how far apart they are. What matters is that you get two marks that then you can line up and get a straight line. And those marks also need to be coming from the fold, the folded edge here to this fold. Okay, so when I I go like this, see how my lines are up here? They're not down here where it's open. Okay, so now, making sure that your marks, your lines are on the folded side, not where it's open, okay? I'm gonna hold this so that I can cut it. I'm cutting through the fold on the lines, and then I'm stopping at the end of the line, which should be where that fold is. Okay, so now what I have is this. I open it up. Okay, this next step is where you can mess it up. If you mess it up, you just start over because you've got another half. Okay, I am only cutting 
here or here, okay? So I'm gonna say I'm gonna cut here. That's it. I'm just cutting this flap free, okay? I am not cutting anything off, so watch. That's it. Now it looks like this, okay? So go ahead and pause and get yours cut. If you cut the wrong spot and it doesn't look like this, just use your other half. Okay, so for this to work, what you're going to do is line it up the same way that I have it. So you see how mine's an M? And this piece is coming towards me, the little tongue piece. Okay, so Roko has the same thing. He's got M, and this piece is coming towards him. Okay, so first I'm going to take this tongue piece and wrap it around this paper. So it goes like that. So it was here, okay, and I'm wrapping it around, just reversing that fold. We're not putting any new folds in, we're just changing their direction, okay, so it's wrapped around there. This part, I'm going to, it already is folded, so it goes this way, so I'm doing this, yeah. and then I'm going to reverse this fold and go back that way. So I'm going to show you that where I can where I flatten it down to. Okay, so now I've got the tongue around this back piece. I'm going to lay it down this time. This is the same thing that I just did, but I'm showing you a different way. Fold it and then fold it one more time. So if I let go of it right now, nothing pops up. Okay. This is folded down. If I flip it over, there's the tongue. Flops up. Okay. So you're going to use a little piece of tape first to make sure this is working. You can use masking tape, which is this yellow tape. Um, you could use blue painter's tape. Either one of those would be preferable to using scotch tape. Scotch tape tends to stick and rip the first time. This I can pull off, but use whatever you have. Um, so now I've got the tape on this side and this side. So it looks like I have two sides of this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it looks like I have two sides. I'm going to number them. So here's side one. Okay. One. Side two. So this one side. Side two. Okay. Two and one. Now what I'm gonna do, I've got the tape side down, okay, and I'm looking at side two. It has no tape. I'm pushing it together. And then up here, I'm gonna pull it apart. Now I have a third side and the two split in half on the back. So I'm going to label this side. You guys won't label them. You're just going to draw things on them. But this way you can see that there's for sure four sides to this when we're done. So again, you're not putting numbers on yours. You're going to put drawings or whatever you want. So there's my two split in half and my three. So with my three facing up, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to push it together and then pull it apart at the top. Now I have another blank side. There's my fourth side. This side I have the three split in half. Okay, so now I'm going to put a four here. I'm going to go back through this, but I'm going to add color this time so that you can definitely see that there's four sides. So there's a four. Four colors. Okay. So if you're going to use marker to fill these, um, I'll show you a different way to do that in a minute because this is going to bleed through, but that's okay. So um, for mine, but you probably won't want that for yours. So now here's a blue four. 
Now to go backwards right here, you see how that is one piece. Okay, so backwards, I'm gonna put it together. And now I'm gonna pull it apart from the back. So right here, pull it apart. Now I've got a three and half of a two. So let's make the three green. Do the same thing. I'll push the three together, pull it apart from the back. Now I've got a two and a one. So I can put my purple on the two. And the yellow one. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Four sides. It's a magic wallet. So now to decorate this, I could use this as one picture and one picture. I could have a picture here and a picture here. Um, and then if you use colored pencils or something like that, it's much easier because it won't bleed through. Do you want to use marker or something like that? I would take a piece of paper. This is my other half here. And you could mark off those lines and then draw on that and then glue it down. You could also collage in this. You want to make sure when you're gluing, though, that you don't glue the piece together in there. Okay?